20 content creators will be competing for their share of RuneScape's biggest ever prize pool. Week to week, they'll have to face off versus one another in intense challenges, cutthroat eliminations, and more. Welcome to the Gilinar Games. Welcome back, everyone, to your 10th challenge on this season of Gilinor Games. Let's go. You guys are the final eight of GG Season 3. Congratulations. We've come a long way since that first Verf versus Solo mission banning all the way back in Episode 1. I can't believe it took me until Week 10 to be able to finally wear shorts. I'm no longer afraid of stepping on snakes and having them attack me. We've still got eight challengers left in the Gilinor games, and things are getting intense, but I am feeling good, especially coming off of last week's win. I think that today is going to be a very good day for me. I feel like there's really no weak links left right now. Everyone is extremely strong that's left in the competition. I feel like right now, Framed and I are big time in people's crosshairs, and there's really nothing we can do about that. Today's challenge is an incredibly important challenge. Your performance at this point in the game matters more than ever before. Knowing that I didn't have to look down, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all these names, and then I get to S and I see Solo Mission, mate, just to see that name just not even exist. Confidence through the roof, mate. So, so good, so good. But yeah, I went in today and I didn't have a clue what the challenge is going to be, of course, and I'm there. Like, it doesn't really matter because I can't really get eliminated from the competition, and I know that I'm immune, but I'll still try my best to take a win if I can. Don't forget that every new subscriber and like on this video adds some GP to the prize pool. We're getting really close to 300,000 on this channel. Thanks again for making this season of GG the most liked and supported one yet. Here's something that might shock you. When I'm not in the editing room, I really enjoy eating food. I mean, we all do. It's why there was a food challenge this season. In fact, we love food so much here on Gilinor Games that HelloFresh has decided to sponsor today's challenge. I'm not a huge fan of grocery shopping, but I do love to cook, which is why when I get a HelloFresh box full of high quality, pre-portioned ingredients with easy to follow recipes, it's the best of both worlds. Everyone should learn how to cook, and HelloFresh is perfect for new chefs or experienced ones. With over 35 weekly recipes, there's never a shortage of unique meals for you to try. Protein smart, carb smart, calorie smart, vegan, there's always something for everyone. You can even choose meals that take as little as 10 minutes to prepare if you don't want to be too far away from your RuneScape gains for too long. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and way cheaper than ordering takeout, and there's nothing like enjoying a home-cooked meal that you made yourself. I can't emphasize how much I enjoy HelloFresh and would highly recommend everyone try it at least once. Tell you what, I'll even give you guys 65% off your first meal plus free shipping yeah you heard that right 65 percent off so use my link below or go to hellofresh.com and use code pogsoupfeb65 for 65 percent off your first meal plus free shipping once you click my description will live update to count up the purchases pretty cool all signups really do help gg so thank you to everyone in advance who supports this season's prize pool is once again viewer sponsored and it's looking nice if you'd like to contribute to the prize pool of gilinor games hop in my clan chat soup and game and send me a message letting me know you'd like to add to the prize pool. Or join my house in game, soup, and add your contribution to the tip jar right next to the portal. The final total will be revealed at the season finale. Bodhi and Foe, you two have immunity for winning last week's banning and come in today with the Amulets of Power, which means you cannot go into the banning. Oh, it feels so good, dude. Like there's this thing in the back of my mind where like it doesn't matter how today turns out, like I'm safe. I'm good for this one, so that's one step closer. So winning a banning always just feels amazing. Because of those amulets, you also came in today with a little bit of power. Both of you were chosen to be team captains for today's challenge. Team Foe and Team Bodhi. Before meeting up today, both of them were asked to draft teams without knowing what the challenge was going to be, and these were the teams they came up with. On Team Bodhi, we have Zoe, Tasty, and Settled. On Team Foe, we have Victim, Framed, and It's Will. Our third big team versus big team challenge of the season. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I chose Tasty because I wanted him. I know he's a grandmaster, so therefore I consider him probably one of the better players out of the entire team. And then I chose Zoe as well. I know they're really good friends, so instantly there's some good synergy there if they're on the same team. So I just thought if I can have a team that that can communicate well, no one's shouting over each other, everyone's relaxed, that communication might be the winning point. So I just went for both of those. I think that's a comfort pick for both of them as well. The people that I chose for this challenge, I haven't done one challenge with them this season, I'm pretty sure. So I just wanted to switch it up and, and have some new people in. So we're pretty even, you know, I, I thought it was a really well-built team. Today's challenge is called Execute the Plan. 
All of you will be given brand new members accounts. On these accounts, you'll find 10,000 GP, 28 Staminas, and a charged Ring of Wealth. In your bank, you'll find every item you received for completing Tutorial Island. When your time starts, your team will have one hour to prepare your accounts with the best stats and gear possible for a multi-PVP fight versus the other team. Oh, oh damn. All right. Wow. Oh. At the one hour mark, we'll meet at Clan Wars, hop into a battle, and begin the fight. Grand exchange usage is allowed for the hour. You aren't, however, allowed to sell your staminas or rings of wealth. The team that beats the other team and survives will win today's challenge and be safe from the banning. Losing team, well, you'll just have to wait and see. I think our team had a pretty good mix of people. Me and Tasty are usually pretty good at getting a plan and executing it, and Bodhi and Settled are the big brains behind the operation, so I was honored to be picked by Bodhi, and I was just so happy that it wasn't a solo challenge. I'm no stranger to dead man mode. In DMM, you just start over, over and over again, and your goal is to burn through the early game and become as powerful powerful as you can as quickly as possible. I think the rest of our team also had a lot of DMM experience and a lot of early game experience from making a bunch of different accounts. So I just think we all were feeling really good about it and we all had some experience there. Four crowns are up for grabs today, guys. Make sure you're the ones that get them. Everyone can make your way to Lumbridge and your time will begin. Cheese, leather gloves, strike spells, fire staff, I'd say. Uh, mind runes, air runes, then like 300 of each of the runes. So mind rune, I'm gonna buy like 300, I guess. Cakes are quite expensive. I've got 10 cakes. We need some good food as well. We decided to go with the magic room. Infamously back in the day, if you PK'd in Varrock Wilderness, magic builds were the best. And we thought that because everyone's gonna be so low combat, if everybody has magic levels, even if it's only 13, your max hit is eight. DPS wise might not be the best, but four people with a max hit of eight can actually do 32 damage. Immediately like that. Right, I'm heading up to do Witch's house now level gloves of one i'm good i'm not gonna mess make this sure up. you don't eat your cheese do not eat the cheese anyone we started the first 15 minutes by all deciding to do witch's house it's an amazing quest because it gives you such a high hp level and you can do it at level three combat so we instantly went to buy the supplies for the quest and after that everyone was just trying to think of some way to make money that was the most important thing right now because if we can make money we can buy bones and get our prayer up to execute our plan So we're sure that if we just buy them all out, is that like guaranteed? Yes, yes it's guaranteed okay. profit. Okay. And we really don't need much money either, honestly. No. Buy steel darts and uh, I mean. Wait, and we need something to start with, which should like iron. We, we need iron knives or darts. I think like that's it'll be a lot better than the alternative. We all divided up different worlds, like the world list into quadrants. We just were all buying as many nails as we could, just all the different kinds. We all made about like from, went from ten to twenty five to thirty k just right off the bat, which is good. Okay, I made. 25k, nice. Okay, I have 26k. All right, I have 24k. So, iron darts we're going for. So, with all of us buying out the nails from the sawmill and hopping around worlds, we should, on average, with our 10k cash deck, get about a 15 to 20k GP profit return. And with that return, we can buy iron darts, get ourselves up to five range, buy steel darts, which are very cheap, and start training up our range level as high as we possibly can. I got 100 iron darts and I got 1,000 steel darts. I think I'm going to sip range pot quite a bit until I get up to like level five for the steels because that's going to be the biggest way. Oh, 100%. Range. We chose men in Edgeville because one, they're close. You know, this is a time challenge. We need to find something that's close to us. Two, they drop herbs. If we get lucky on some herb drops, we can actually make a lot of money for our gear later on and our food, which is big. Three, they have almost no defense and they don't hit very high. So hopefully we can get some good DPS in. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm going to tell you how. Come on. Uh, he won't go north. Okay, got it. About three HP. So the next one, I think, will one hit me straight away. Has anyone got oh, no cakes? Can you come to my world or I come to your world? The Witch's House quest, if done correctly, five or 10 minutes, it'll give you something around 6,000 hit points experience, putting you from around 10 or 11 to about 24 or 25, basically doubling your hit point level. Oh, God, I'm going to die. I mean, <laughs> I, okay, I've got it on one HP. So how long are you going to be to get it with the cakes? Um, I'm using the cheese now. I'm oh, my God. The door if you want me to come to you. Everything is going pretty smoothly 
Eventually, at one point, Bodhi ran out of food and he nearly died. So Tasty goes over to give him some cakes. Well, 360, I'm, I'm getting such bad RNG on the lure as well. It's fine, I still think we've moved pretty quick. Oh. You did not just get teleported, did you? I got teleported out. <laughs> I, I didn't know it could see cheese. diagonally, bro. I'm right here, Adam. I think you might have lost the cheese. Oh, sure. I'll go buy another one, I'll just buy another one. But shock surprise, the weakest link of the team, Tasty, gets teleported out of the maze. But fret not, your team carry is here. I passed him over some cakes and then we were smooth sailing. Guys, I have bad news, I just died. Did you watch <laughs> What? The second form just destroyed me, dude. That second oh, form no. absolutely okay, I'm, murdered I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go train for a second. I feel like I need this. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten so cocky because I also got teleported out just a little bit later. Witch's house like literally felt like sepulcher on steroids or something. It, it was so intense for just Witch's house. I don't even know. What's the movement after we get Witch's house done? Are we all trying to do prayer? I'm going to. Right, I've done it. I am 24 hit points. I am now nice. going to buy wines. Did you get did you get 13 magic from this? 10. Okay. We had to get knives or darts because they hit ridiculously fast. For anyone who doesn't know, they're a two tick weapon, which is that they hit once every 1.2 seconds. If we get darts, we have more and more chances to hit those little ones to start out training and you get them coming faster. So you level up a lot faster and they were definitely the way to go. And we should probably get like a full leather set too, even if we uh, yeah, wear like bodies, because it ha anything that helps. And we could wear a coif at 20. So initially in our plan, we wanted to see if we could get 28 ranged and use Dorgish and crossbows. As the minutes were ticking away, it became very apparent we were not going to be able to get 28 ranged in time. So right now we're just training on men in Edgeville so we can get some herb drops. We can get a decent bit of experience. I mean, we're really just trying to get 20 ranged before we go and actually do Witch's House and get that huge HP level boost. I'm taking like no hits now that I bought this leather armor too, and I'm just face tanking and getting like maximum tick up time. All right, quest finished for me. All right, which is house done? Let's go. Nice. I apologize for the delay, but the quest is complete. Uh, there we go. We have the straps now. This is good. We have to, we have to, you know, the first 15 minutes, just flesh out the straps. Tasty, if you want to, depending on what you want to do, if you want to go buy wizard hats, they are going to sell on the G for like 200 each, I think. Yeah, I'm going to shop honestly, 13 magic and run to Port Serum to them. Another good thing could be pineapples. They're 150 each from Charters, and you can buy 15 at a time. Price sold at five. So five to 160 for pineapples. You can buy 15 in inventory. You can note them at the bank in Catherby if you can get there. I want sell them for a few thousand. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that then. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm just going to spend my money on a Camelot teleport and I'm just going to buy a bunch of pineapples. As of late, I've been buying a bunch of pineapples on McTile to make super compost. And I was like, hey, are these worth anything? As it turns out, you can actually make about 4,000 GP per inventory just buying pineapples and they cost five GP each. This was an absolute game changer of a money maker. All right, well, we have time because if we find a money maker like that, I think we could do that and then just buy something like big bones and it might be better. Yeah, I agree. Like literally if we just stop at 13 magic and then manage to get overheads, it's way more worth it than trying to get higher magic. Okay, guys, everyone should Pineapple? be on pineapples. Um, I'm on it. Right, I'm yeah. literally my child mode now. 3,000 coins in 15 seconds. Like, this is... I'm going to run to Brimhaven uh, because I can cast on the way there at the same time. Yeah, everyone go to a different charter. Everyone do a diff different charter because the char the shops are all separate. If we're all doing this, this is, uh, this is insane money. We can each get 30k in like 10 minutes. Settle comes up with a plan, and that is to make money by buying pineapples from charter ships and selling them to the GE, which surprisingly was a really good money maker. Our plan also, once we got that money, was for everybody to get 37 prayer. We, have, we do have to keep in mind we still need to buy whatever we're gonna use in the oh, fight though. These are insane. I got Where a freaking I got a clue or a beginner clue scroll and an easy clue scroll in the same drop. In the same kill, yeah. Dude, this is day and night. You're not kidding. This is absolutely worth yeah, this is 
absolutely worth it. I'm hitting so hard, absolutely. like so often. Really? Okay. I'm gonna upgrade them. We took the money that we made off of our initial round of men to the GE, liquidated it, and we upgraded to uh, to black knives. It's a time challenge. We need to make that jump from steel darts to black knives. Higher max hit at a lower range level is gonna make a big difference for our XP. I think I actually had the highest range level for quite a while out of us. I think team morale in general was pretty high. We knew we were doing pretty well. We made pretty good money from the herbs from men in Edgeville, which is what we wanted, and things were going smoothly. We right. need to find out if we can find a upgraded training area yeah. that's full safe spotable yeah. so we don't have downtime. I'm going to attempt to rock crabs and see how they go. I think that's going to be very, very worth it. I mean, despite the fact that I am going to lose a couple minutes going up to rock crabs, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this plan. I really am happy that we went with range. I think it's going to be the optimal setup in today's fight. I am killing men while I'm uh, doing the pineapples, and if I get a Renar, oh, like bro. I've killed like five already, it would be so big. <laughs> oh, that would actually be massive. First place, man. Just make sure everyone, you just blitz through your stamina potions while you do this, man, the most of them. I feel like they're gonna go mage, but I don't know Me why too. I'm so sure of that. I think it's because I, I know deep down that it's probably the better option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. But yeah, uh, yeah. our DPS no, will they, be higher. Our DPS is better. Dude, this guy thinks I'm on a tile, man, and he says, I saw that. I'm. It's literally just a... <laughs> he thinks you're a tile. <laughs> he said, I saw that. Moment of truth. Here we go. Pineapples are going in, baby. We have. Oh, I didn't sell for 138. Come on, bro. Don't do this to me, game. Come on. Right, 60k. They sold for. I'll check actually. History. They sold for 125 each. I have 60k. By the time we had all the bones we needed for prayer training, we're like 30 minutes deep into the challenge, which means we need to speed this up if we want 37 prayer before the time runs out. So to do that, we had to buy burning amulets, which take us pretty much right next to the chaos altar, and we just had to use these bones as fast as physically possible. Afterward, we would use the wine on the table to die and head back to Lumbridge, go back to the bank, grab a full inventory of bones and teleport back there. We just keep doing this repeat, repeat, repeat. I've got like 250 pineapples right now, so I'm a bit stressed about getting enough in the time frame. Thoughts? You're fine, we have ages. Oh, mate, I'm dead, bro. There's actually a PK around me. No way. No Some shot. Guy fireballing me, mate. I'm not even you joking. Have, you don't have He's all your bones me. on you, do you? No, 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 no. I've only got like 10. I'm just using as many as I can. Okay, okay, Plus, okay, I'll protect okay. my three important items. So it's good, mate. And 12, bro. Bro, what are the As long as you can use all your bones. Yeah, who's doing low level PKing? Like, we have <laughs> big I bones. Died. I died. It's ridiculous. He's on 33. I lost about, I literally lost like one bone, or six, seven bones. That's, what are the odds of the warm guy on the warm world <laughs> I go, bro? Ooh, young kitted, let's go. The coif, the studded. Like, I got yeah, 20, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. bail for Witch's House and then we'll we'll do the fight with maybe myth darts because they're cheaper so we can afford more food. Yeah. yeah so don't like use your whole, like, more. yeah, don't use any black knives after you get level 20 because we'll make money back from that and then buy myth darts. Mm -hmm. 20 range. I mentioned nice. US, it's so it. cheap. All right, 20 ranged. Unfortunately, partway through, we realized that there was pretty much no way that we were going to hit 28. We're going to be stuck closer to 20. We're not going to get bone crossbows. And at that point, we started to think maybe about getting some more money because we needed to make sure that we had enough for food, for good food during the fight. And we also thought about making sure that we left plenty of time to do Witch's House to get our HP up. We might have to go to the plan where we make I sure two it, people have a word. What should I do instead? I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, man, I'm trying to think. think. I don't know. To guarantee three people overheads would be better. Yeah, I think I But agree. there's yeah. just a high chance that 
if we all pray mage, they're gonna hit you straight away. But I think if they don't have mage, we'll kill them first. That's fine. So as and soon I as you also... kill one of them. Yeah, I'll just train my magic up in the meantime to get more accuracy. Here, Tasty, you want some bones? I finished selling my pineapples, and I realized that not only can I not afford 37 prayer, but I also don't have the time to get it. I feel like all of our plans just kind of went out the window. I head back to the GE, and I just started picking up some ashes I found so that I could just get any remaining supplies for our team. I ended up being the very strong team support, okay? And that is a role that I will stand by. Dude, he two shot me. No way, 338. Oh, that's so annoying, man. Everything is going wrong. Every single thing. I get PK'd at the Chaos Altar, which means now I don't think I'm gonna make it. The only way for me to get 43 prayer at this point is if Tasty comes with me and gives me his bones so that I don't have to bank. I've got, you've got my trade offer. You've got my trade offer. Past Witch's House, which took, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes maximum, everything ended up kind of being a waste of time. Yeah. I'm done with the uh, monster already. All four phases. So it's pretty quick. Perfect. I'm on the bear right now. Oh, yeah, I, got the, I got the quest helper thing auto popping up too. Yeah, I, I think I'm five minutes in since I got to Birthorp. Uh, maybe do another run of nails just to make us some money. Like, yeah. so we have money for the team. If you just have extra time. Uh, I, do you Stop. think it would be better maybe to uh, just go kill Edgefield again? Just I can get Renars. Actually, yeah, I, I would say that because it's better to and have then we're leveling uh, as well. stronger. Yeah, it's better to be stronger with the chance to make money. So I'm 26 HP, 21 range right now. If you keep getting Renars, yeah, we could just get a third age bow or something. Yeah, it's fast. Yeah. I just got the uh, got the quest done. So I complete Witch's House. It goes off without a hitch. I have some extra time to go to Edgeville and kill a few extra men. I might be able to get my range level to maybe 23, 24 and still have time to go and sell everything I get and buy supplies. And I'm feeling pretty good about our position going into today's fight. Yeah, another Renar. Let's go. Oh my god, he's huge. Food, maybe a stamp pot with us and two range pots, I'm thinking. Paul went to Rock Crabs and then he went back to men with like the extra time that he had because he's just that jacked. And I think he got like four Raynar drops right at the end, which was just like enough money to buy like everyone's food, everyone's supplies. Oh, another Renar. Let's go. Oh, another Renar. Let's go, dude. You're just f another Renar. That's four. He was the sugar daddy for the team. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven, baby, thirty-seven, baby. All right, I got it. Thirty-seven. Nice, no. nice, nice, nice. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, I'm staying quick. So rest. stressful. If you have any money, just buy like slightly better food or something. Literally any edge we can get, buy like a choco bomber or anything. Me and Settled got it by minutes to spare. So unfortunately, two of us had the overhead price and two of us didn't. They're probably gonna hide Zoe. So if yeah. they if they hide him, then if they we hide have Zoe, we, we attack Tasty. Call. But okay, Luke, yeah. you call it. We'll want to switch on to Zoe if we see her for yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. She's so yeah. squishy. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The moment we see her, we go for her. The only thing we needed to worry about was getting one shot by their spells. And we saw they had fire stabs on, and we saw they were low combat. So I instantly realized they had fire strike, which could only hit eights. And they basically all have to max at the same exact time on the same tick to kill any of us. We were thinking there was almost nothing they could do, and we were really confident. I remember, use range to advantage. So basically, every time you cast, run away from them. And we're all gonna pile its will. And I think in all honesty, what we should do is, if we all cast at will at a distance, then we all rush in and attack him. We can stack them all together and maybe one hit him. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if we can instantly kill someone, then I think we're great. We needed RNG, obviously, to go our way. We needed to stack up the, you know, our mage attacks on whoever was their lowest level. Who I think we decided to target Will. I believe he was the lowest combat. Oh my god! Wait, oh my god, you see this what, thing here? You see yeah. this? Can we run in circles around this and far cost oh, over? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay. Should we just wait over here? Let's just wait over here. Because yeah, their darts don't do. have the range that we yeah. do, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to use range to our example. Let them come to us. As soon as you see your XP drop, you run around. The group chat is in high spirits. Everyone is super confident. Two of us have prey mage. This is amazing for us because if they rolled up with mage, we're still going to be doing way more damage and we have tons of one hit potential. So we all huddle up and I look my comrades in the eyes. Maybe for the last time, we have no idea idea, but I say this, move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained. Fight not unless the position is critical. Sun Tzu, The Art of War. Yeah, 
Yeah, come back here. Wait, I found him south of the lava here. They're standing on the far side of the lava. It's Bodhi in front. It's Bodhi in front. Yeah, of course. Oh, there's Victim. 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 Yep. He spotted I'm gonna cast. There's I'm gonna cast. Come back. What are we thinking? Okay, come back. Come back. Come back. Just don't run too far. Don't run for, we have the, we have to use the range as an example of advantage. Do we want to try to to flank him? We could go all the way into the corner and yeah, run flank. south. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everyone stem. Yeah. Yeah. Already stemmed. Yep. Yeah. Stemmed. So immediately we see that Bodhi is running out to try and aid us in. He obviously knows that we have a small range of attack with our darts. So immediately we spot the fact that they're trying to bait us so they can get distance on us and get as many hits as possible before we even have a chance to start attacking them. We're not dumb though. So immediately we pull back and we decide to go for the flank. Yep, they're here, they're here, south, 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 south. Okay, south. Run, north, run, north. Run, okay. north? run north across, run north, yep, run to north. the other side of it, to the other side of it. I sniff something disgusting. It's the enemy team, of course. They're flanking and they're wearing ranged. They literally perfectly countered us. This just got practically impossible. They know, they know. We're, we're just gonna have to run at him and take some hits. Zoe, get Zoe. Zoe. On Zoe. I, I click Zoe. Zoe, I click Zoe. Spam clicker. Spam clicker. Yeah, yeah just stay, stay. You're tanking. Or wait, they're, they're split up. They're hitting different people. On Zoe. Careful. Yep. Yeah, uh, Kevin, make sure you eat soon. I I don't have to eat. Make Who sure you attack Will. I'm I attacking. see Will. I see Will. I'm will. 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 On Will. On Will. Keep running around. On Will. On Will. Manually cast on Will. Just keep running around. Manually cast on Will. That's all you got to do. Keep doing it. All these hits are going to come in. Watch your health as well. If we can get the gap on people, we have the range advantage. Unfortunately, when they close the gap, it's very difficult, if not close to impossible, to get somebody off you. Oh, Stay on God, Will. I'm being piled. Oh, God, I ran the keep wrong way. Sorry. 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 Just keep eating good food. Stay on Will. Stay on Will. Will's yep. almost out. Just be careful. They're focusing. Hard focusing. You hard focus. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're hard focus. Combo food. Combo food. Oh, yeah. So once I realize I'm trying to tank, I'm just trying to eat as much food as possible. But then I hear something that Bodhi says, and he's saying that we should all be attacking Will. And for some reason, I feel like he's talking to me. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can get one hit off on Will while I'm eating in between. Stay on him. Will, Will could be dead here. Just stay on him. Just keep oh, running. Dead, Watch I'm your dead. health. I'm it's all Sorry. good, stay on well, stay on well. It's all good, right? Everyone alive, just stay on well. Suddenly my HP just hit zero. It all happened so fast, really. I couldn't believe it. We just killed Zoe, we killed Zoe. Yeah. Okay. Settled, settled, settled. Settled. Oh, settled. Close. Okay. Okay. Get settled. Yeah, yeah. Pile settled, pile settled. They're really just targeting me right now. Just keep eating, just Jesus. keep eating, just keep eating. Just keep eating. You only yeah, have two people hitting you now. They can only hit two people. Range pot, range pot, range pot. Yeah, I'm re-range potting for max hit. I was like 90% sure that they were going to pile me just by merit of Bodhi being their team leader. And he just, he has this idea in his head that I suck at the game. I don't know where he gets it from. Oh, this is so keep good. Eating well, keep eating well. Like yeah, literally, good. how much food do you have? How much food do you have? Uh, a good half amount? an inventory of okay, yeah, you're, you're chilling, you're chilling. Yeah. Stay on Will, make sure he dies. If he doesn't die, we lose. You have to stay on Will, just keep running around this thing. We have, a, like you see, we're trading, we're winning so many free hits. Stay on Will, this is a good strat. We're going to win, doesn't matter. Three people, we still win this. Restand if you need to. I had to restand. Unsettled? Yep, yep, yep. Settled's just, he can't hit you. He's dying. No, it's so close to dying. This is so good, dude. Good call on the range, Paul. He's got so much food, bro. Okay, I have like not touched my food at all, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out right now. Well, you're doing great, dude. You're doing very, very well. Yeah, great tanks. Great tanks. Great tanks. How much food do you have? How much food? Yeah, food food that's fine. Well. That's fine. All good. All good. Settles out. We killed. We killed. Oh, tasty. 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 I'm going to die. I'm out of food. Oh, there's it's two okay. hits on me. Oh, yeah, yeah, seven hell. <laughs> seven hell. Okay, get on. Just stay on well. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Will should be really low. Yes, yeah, yeah, he's not, he's 2v3 now and they have the dots. I'm gonna get one more hit off on him. We should go back to Tasty now. Uh, I died. Back to Tasty, back to Tasty. Back to tasty. As soon as it, it was 4v2, I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna literally get two darts in and then just die and my team will finish this off just because like, I, I'm pretty sure two of my teammates were like almost full on food just because the entire time they were piling me and we managed to kill two of them in that time. So it was definitely over at that point. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm gone. G, 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 G. It is over. I don't even have range. Yeah, as soon as they oh, showed up at the range, it was like, Yeah. Oh. I knew the odds were no longer in our favor. We had a counter strat to magic. They had a counter strat to magic. Unfortunately, we didn't have the counter strat for range. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Flex. Flex. <laughs> Well done, boys. Well done. Yeah, pile yeah. suit, pile suit, pile suit. Hell yeah, suit. Baby. Everybody on suit. Hell yeah. That was so oh, sick. Let's go. Okay, well let's done. Let's go, fellas.
well done, boys. Yeah. So well done. Back to back wins. There is no better feeling in the Gilinor games than getting back to back wins from week to week. I feel so good. I almost couldn't believe it. It just felt like everything this episode aligned for me and for our team. We all played really well during the fight. We had great teamwork. I knew the four of us were safe. We earned it and it was just such a good feeling. Welcome back from a great challenge. Congratulations to Team Foe for smoking Team Bodhi, winning today's challenge, securing the golden crowns, and being safe from elimination. This felt good, man. We weren't certain that we were gonna win this one. This one's a tough challenge. The teammates that I ended up choosing were perfect for this. They absolutely destroyed the competition, so just good to take another win. Now, listen up. Not only are the four of you safe from elimination, but you've also secured yourself a ticket. This ticket is very important because it secures your spot in the final of Gilinor Games Season 3. Let's Whoa. go. Oh Let's go, dude. When Soup said, before you come get your crowns, you're safe and you'll be in the final. I just opened my mouth and it was like the Pogjamp emote in real life. I was just sitting there like, holy, we made it. To make it through the rough challenges and then to just be told, you've earned your place into the final of Gilinor Games. It's unreal. Well done to you four. You have officially locked your spots in the final challenge of this season. Oh, this was a surprise, dude. I did not think that this was going to be the finish here. I definitely didn't expect to make it all the way to the final when I started this season, especially, you know, going into the banning so early against the engineer. This just feels good. It's just like that good, cozy RuneScape feeling, you know? Bodhi, since you are immune from today's banning, this means that you have also locked a spot in the final as well. Oh, geez. Wait, what? Yeah, because you're immune, Wait, bro. Wait, what about my team, bro? I feel slimy as shit. Bro, you know, my, I lost and I just go through like, hey, peace team, see you. <laughs> I frolic through some flowers, you know, nice red satin carpet, mate. Even Wooks is there clapping me saying, Bowie, welcome to the final. And I'm like, yeah, peace team. Thanks for playing. You're all shit. We lost, but I'm gonna go play the final anyway, goodbye. I felt like a slime ball, man. Settled Zoe and Tasty. Unfortunately, the three of you don't have a ticket, which means you will not be partaking in the final. Luckily for you, I have one ticket left, which means that we have one final banning left this season, and the three of you are now automatically a part of it. Oh, wow. Oh, oh great. Right. Right. One of you will have a chance to secure the final ticket. The other two will be purged and banned one episode before the final. What a twist. I mean, I guess in hindsight, it was obvious. There was people with immunity and two teams, so I guess it was always gonna be like this, but I mean, this is everything. Only one of us is coming out of this, and this is for the final. Obviously, Settled is an absolute genius, and I am terrified to even be in the same room as him. As far as Tasty goes, you know, I used to think that he was a threat, but the more that the challenge has gone on, I've realized that he has worms for brains, so I'm not as worried about him. It's really just me and Settled in this one. So it's just so much stress and so much pressure with the whole competition. I wasn't particularly sad or anything. I tried to detach myself emotionally from the situation and then just go in and do my best. In the most important banning of the season, you guys will be playing Monster Mash. All three of you will be given 1 million GP. You'll need to figure out a gear and inventory setup to kill three monsters in the game with the highest combined combat levels. For example, if you kill a level 27 Minotaur, level 88 Green Dragon, and a level 132 Confused Barbarian, your score would be 247. The bosses or monsters you decide to kill is totally up to you, but you only have 15 minutes and 1 million GP to do so. You don't have to kill all the monsters with the same inventory. You can stop at the GE between kills. Wiki usage is also allowed. If you happen to die, that's it. You're out. Your time stops there. Hopefully that doesn't happen. The person who kills three monsters with the highest combined level in 15 minutes will win the banning and secure the last spot in this season's final. I wish I could say my odds are good here, but Zoe and Tasty are both extremely experienced in this type of challenge. They are both late game main accounts that do this sort of thing all the time. And this is honestly gonna come down to who can plan the best strategy and execute it to the best of their ability. This is gonna be tough. This is absolutely it. This is my last chance at redemption and, and winning Gelenor games would just be so massive. And when I heard it was a PVM challenge, I was like, all right, I think I got this, honestly. Here's something else. You only have five minutes to figure out a gear and inventory setup before we start. Settled, Zoe, Tasty, welcome to the final banning of Gilinor Games Season 3. 
Five minutes? Just to put this in perspective, you have five minutes to figure out the bosses you want to kill, how you want to kill them, how you're getting there, what gear you're gonna buy, what supplies you're gonna use, your teleports. I mean, what an absolutely brutal introduction to this banning. Luckily, with the power of editing, your prep time has already finished. Good luck. Oh shit, the challenge already started. Oh, it started over a minute ago. This is so bad. I forgot a range pot. I brought one mil with me. Why did I bring one mil with me? Oh, it's fine. Just calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm gonna drop this one mil. Don't have the mental capacity to carry around one mil with me right now. Okay. This challenge is about more than just finding the highest level boss and going to kill it. You want to make sure that you can kill it and you can do that within the time limit. Right off the bat, I thought, what do I know how to kill and how can I get there quickly? I instantly bought a Zalandra teleport so that I can get right into Zulra off the bat. Let's first do Gauntlet, because this one is going to be the highest combat level. That'll just get us there pretty immediately. And then I don't know how long Zora is going to take. I'm pretty confident in my skill in the game, but not as much in my, like, game knowledge. I did not immediately think of what I could do with, you know, a million GP, but still maintain really high enemy levels. I formulated a decent plan that was definitely risky. I'm gonna go do my gauntlet first thing because that will be relatively quick. Hopefully I'm scared, I don't know. I'm doing everything I can. Let me just go do a regular gauntlet and I'll go as fast as I freaking can. I'll go as fast as my freaking little fingers can get me there. I think a regular gauntlet should only take me about like six minutes. In the meanwhile, I will brainstorm a way to get to Vorkath quickly. 15 minute challenge, five minutes of prep time. Look, I get extremely stressed. I have been frazzled since day one. And that feeling has not gone away. So I tried my best to collect myself. Going into this banning, one of my first thoughts is Gauntlet. I feel extremely confident about Gauntlet. The ping is really rough on this world, I noticed. This is gonna be a rough kill. Oh my god, I'm... I, you, maybe I'm not showing it in my voice, but I am extremely stressed out right now. I am ridiculously stressed out. I've been doing a little bit of gauntlet recently, so hopefully this goes okay. I guess I should probably go a little bit aggressive on this kill. If I die, it's pretty much over, but worse things have happened. I think this is my best bet. I don't know, man. Three bosses, 15 minutes, I can do this. The ping is so bad, it's taking a full second to switch. This is the most stressful kill of my life, actually. Now listen, I have killed 4,000 Zolra in this game. Jad phase was not even doable. I just had to eat through it. I was on world 346 with a thousand people on it, and I think my actions were literally taking like 17 million game ticks to register. This was impossible. Please, 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 please. Oh. This may have been the most stressful and gross, disgusting, slimy kill I have ever gotten on this boss. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I gotta think, I gotta think, I gotta think. Man, I just freaking woke up, dude. dude. This is this is gonna be a true test, bro. A true test. All right, Godspeed. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Actually, wait. I could go kill. <gasps> I could go kill single Jad. I could go kill single Jad. Initially, when I was looking at the list of monsters with high combat levels, I thought that Jad was gonna take too long, and then I remembered that the single Jad challenge exists. Unfortunately, I did not realize that until I was in the middle of gauntlet prep, but I'm actually glad that I had that time within the gauntlet to kind of get myself together and come up with a stronger plan. We're gonna go do single Jad challenge and um, it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna hope that I didn't forget anything. Ain't that the freaking truth? We should be fine. We should be fine. The RCP is gonna pop off. It's gonna be great. I lost about a minute and a half, but I thought that it would be worth it to just leave and, you know, go on with the better plan. Okay, I'm gonna play it safe. We We've got more than enough food, more than enough prayer. Just gonna be calm. Just gonna play it cool.
there's a bunch of things I could blame. Like the worlds were bad, sure, I had a bunch of nerves. Sure, I was like, I just wasn't playing very well. But at the end of the day, I made just a tiny little mistake at the end and in the corrupted gauntlet, that spells death. Okay, I thought I clicked. Yep, I've lost. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like my uh, my time in the Gelenor games has come to an end. Was unfortunate, but sometimes that's the way it goes. I've literally done six Jads, but for some reason this Jad, it seems to be a little bit scarier than the other Jads I've killed. I think I'm gonna switch to diamonds in like one more hit or two. Jad is relatively simple, and I actually thought it would be super easy for this. You don't need a lot of supplies. You basically just need like a crossbow and some bolts and maybe a prayer potion. Let's go diamond bolt. Let's go diamond bolts. This is 900 combat. So like there is a world in which I don't lose this. There is definitely a world in which I don't lose this. Okay, so there's one. The fight probably took a minute longer than it should have, but we did it, and it's a really big one. This is the best thing I could think of to do, the one Jad challenge from the Inferno, because it should have like a combat of like 900, I think. A missed prayer could mean the end of this run. Oh, I forgot to switch worlds, and I just as I switched my prayers there, I realized that I forgot to switch worlds. So I finished my Zolra kill, and I'm like, oh my god, that was terrible. I need to hop worlds immediately, but let me get to Jad first. And then I walk into the Jad fight, and I realize my ping is in like Zimbabwe, so I'm just completely screwed again. If I die of Warcath, <laughs> I'm gonna be a little embarrassed. I'm gonna be just a smidge embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I might run out of run getting there, but it should be mostly fine. Okay, this is fine. So I'm thinking I'm already geared for Vorkath. I haven't done Vorkath with a crossbow in forever, but I'm thinking it should be simple enough. Oh, my DPS is not good. I might not have enough time for Vorkath after this. I didn't realize how terrible my damage was going to be here. I mean, I knew, but I didn't know. You know what I mean? Oh, so now the rubies are... Oh god, ow. Oopsies. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Let's just pretend that did not happen. We are fine. Rubies, please. I'm not asking for much, man. I'm really not asking for too much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Just one. Just one. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. I don't know if I have enough time to kill Vorkath. I really don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try, but I don't have high hopes. I've killed two bosses so far. I'm feeling okay, but I'm not gonna feel good until I can get my third boss, which this is gonna be a rough kill. I haven't killed Vorkath in ages, and I also don't have a salve amulet, and my gear is garbage. So we're gonna see if this works, but I don't think I have time for this. I didn't bring any runes. Oh no, I'm fucked. Oh shit. Uh, I think I can try to kill it. Shit. I forgot. God oh, damn it. You know what? It's fine. Doesn't matter. I have plenty of food. As long as I do that, we are good. If I get really lucky here, I'm gonna need Ruby bolt specs. That's like the only way that I get this fast enough, I think. Also, why I bought the dust runes is so that I could have the crumble undead here. do it. Zero ruby specs. Oh, that's so sad. I definitely would have gotten that. If I got literally any luck there, I get that. Uh, I got to find something to kill. I have like probably a minute left. I don't know what to kill. I had to teleport out of Orkath. There was no way I was getting that kill. I have about 40 seconds left to kill something. Something better than the undead spawn at Orkath. It could literally come down to this last monster. Zoe, why are you doing this? It's called nerves me. Ah! You know, the wook walks with the crossbow can be a little complicated. When you're under pressure, sometimes maybe your eyes begin to show you XP drops that don't actually exist. So yeah, I did die to Vorkath. I did die to the fireballs. I booked it to the wilderness and I managed to kill a green dragon about five seconds before the time runs out. I don't even know if I'm going to get this in time. 
Please just get it into- Okay, we got it, we got it, nice. There we go, time's up. Wow, that was so stressful. A very interesting final banning purge. Nice job to the three of you. Surprisingly, only one person managed to kill three different monsters, and that was Settle, who killed Jad, Zolra, and a green dragon for a score of 1,704. Jesus Christ. Zoe, you managed to kill Jad before unfortunately perishing to Vorkath, which left you with a score of 900. Tasty, it looks like the Corrupted Hunliff was a bit too much for you. During your run, however, you did manage to kill a level 48 Corrupted Bat and a level 258 Corrupted Dragon and Dark Beast, so you do still receive a total score of 564 but it still wasn't enough. Shocking, oh no. I mean, you guys really think I'm probably joking about my attitude towards Tasty, but if this didn't prove it to you, I don't know what could. It do be like that, my own fault. This means that settled. You have secured the final spot in the final of Gilinor Games Season 3. Congratulations. Oh, I think I lost a year of my life Beautiful. on this challenge, dude. You are joining an absolutely stacked cast for this season's final. You can rejoin the group. That challenge may have just taken several years off my life, but I am so happy to have won that. If I was going to win any banning, this was it. This was the one to win. This gets me through to the final, and knowing that only one of us was coming out of this, it was extremely stressful, but this was for everything. I am so happy I won that. Taste and Zoe. You two have put on an absolute show this season. A super impressive run for both of you in your rookie seasons. You can leave here with your heads held high. It was a flood of emotions, honestly. Obviously, I was disappointed that I didn't make it past the banning, didn't make it into the grand finals. But at the same time, like I said earlier, just like very, very grateful just to be given the opportunity. Like, I was just thinking how much fun I had throughout this entire season. Well, this is super fun. Thank you, guys. And good luck to our final six. GG. Yeah, um, I've been a fan of you all for so long. So it's just, I'm just happy to be here. It's been really cool. Aww. Look, in the beginning, I said I was going to have to get on some people's good sides and do some backstabbing and keep a low profile if I wanted to get to the end. And like, I was kind of joking, but I think my plan actually worked. I got so much farther than I ever thought I would. Do I look back at every challenge and think of a hundred things that I would have done drastically differently? Yeah, but overall, I think that I played the actual game itself really well, and it's really been an honor to play with everybody. Unfortunately, your time here on Gilinar Games has ended. Take care. My first season in Gellinor Games went better than I ever could have hoped. I had more fun than I thought I would. I would not believe that I was friends with like Bodhi and like Framed and Torvasta and people that inspired me to start RuneScape content. So I guess a message to everyone who is rooting me from this season. Thank you guys. I love you all. You guys are making my dreams come true. And uh, season four is going to me this time. I really appreciate everybody that has stuck through with me for all of the embarrassing moments. And you know, all things considered, I did make a little bit of history. I was the first girl to ever win a banning, so it's been a really good season. Well, this is it. The final six players of Gilinor Games season three. Bodhi, Foe, Framed, It's Will, Settled, and V the Victim. All of you can officially call yourselves finalists. This final is so stacked, it is unreal. I would consider myself the weakest player in this final out of six, and I still don't think I'm that bad at the game. I don't know what the challenge is gonna be. I expect something crazy from Soup, something really difficult. I don't know if terrified is the right word, but I'm on the edge of my seat, and the second we hear what's gonna happen, what we have to do, my mind is gonna just be racing. I hope my fingers and the rest of me keep up. I think that anybody that feels the need to team up just doesn't think they can win a banning. If you're confident in your abilities, you don't really need a team. That's my opinion. I'm really happy to be going into the finale. I think it's going to be a great time, you know, win or lose. I think this has been a good showcase, if anything. You know, I think I've done my part. I'm just really happy to be in the finals. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. Five of you will be heading into your first final. Framed, this will be your second. Boy, does it feel good to be back in another final for the Gilinar Games. This is my second final. I mean, season two, I did not get that far. So to be able to get all the way to the season finale is just such a good feeling. Here we are, season finale, and I've not been sent into a banning once. So I would say I had a pretty good strat this season. This final six 
is so incredibly stacked. I mean, everyone in here is exceptionally good at the game and exceptionally nerdy at the game. It's gonna be extremely hard to win this. This has been by far the most difficult season yet. To make it all the way to the end being free agents in the format this season had was not easy. And all of you deserve your place in what will be the most difficult final yet. I think I'm going into this final challenge with no expectations. I'm happy with how I've done it. I'm gonna try to win, obviously, but uh, just happy to have made it this far and uh, already consider the, uh, the season a win. Can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store. Next week, we're finally in the end game. About as confident as you get. Again, there's absolutely no idea what's gonna happen. It really depends on if this final challenge comes down to either individual mechanical skill or game knowledge. Again, is it a team challenge where everyone has to rely on each other or obviously perform well? But as far as I'm aware, all I have to do is do well in that challenge and I can be the winner or one of the winners of the Glinnor Games Season 3. I'll see you all again for the final time very soon.